probably must have heard about Pharaoh, see that from the Bible, or have seen pictures of golden Pharaoh statues. Most Pharaoh are men, which some Pharaohs are female, just like Cleopatra and Nefririti. As ancient Egyptian rulers, they are high class of people who are both the head of state and religious leaders to the people. Through the history of Egypt, there have been about 50 pharaohs, which the title pharaoh means head of the land and lord of the temple. The word pharaoh, when being translated to English from Hebrew, means great house, which is referred to where the pharaoh reside. The early leaders were called kings. The early pharaoh leaders were called kings before the name pharaoh got stuck on them. Pharaohs can also be seen as God on earth who perform ritual or are seen as an intermediary between God above and the people. Pharaohs are also charged with the building of temples, made the law, collected taxes, and oversaw all the activities in the land of Egypt. The word Pharaoh was used by Greeks and Hebrew to call the rulers of Egypt king. Egypt, which was originally grouped into two regions, the upper region in the south and the lower region in the north. Men is also called Nama, united the upper and lower Egypt after defeating the pharaoh of lower Egypt. All this was done about 3,100 BC. Pharaohs who have passed on are however mummified, buried in a tomb and surrounded with riches and at times animals like cats and dogs, which cats would have significant meaning to the Egyptians and at times seen as God. They refer to their pharaohs as Uros. When he passes on, they believe he has united with the other gods in the sun, and a new lord of Uros rules the land. Osiris is considered the father of Uros and the first pharaoh who ruled the land. He is also referred to as the father of the dead or god of the dead who passes on his power to new pharaohs. You can also refer pharaoh to the preserverer of God's giving order, Mal. Pharaohs back in the days are seen as the owner of everything therein in Egypt. Pharaohs are also seen as the creator of the army and he who leads the enemy. They also live a very large and luxurious lifestyle. Pharaohs are seen wearing a false beer made of iron, signifying their status as a living god and their connection to the gods. The whip and spectre which symbolizes power and it is believed the serpent on their crown is believed to be able to speak out smoke which people back then in the days feared. Egyptians back then do all this believe that the serpents on the crown of the pharaohs have the capability of smiting people, so they do have a fear of that. Whenever a pharaoh has passed on, the next in line is usually their eldest son. Their body will be modified with the aim of living forever. So whenever a pharaoh is being wrapped after being mummified, it's being laid down in a pyramid which is built for them well not all pharaohs have a pyramid built for them it's that they are being put in a pyramid why most are actually being put in a tomb which is in the valley of the kings the organs are removed to avoid further decay of the body so the nurse are removed the abdomen the stomach the intestines everything are being removed to avoid the further decay of the body and then put in seropic gears. Whenever the inners have been removed, the space are then being filled with salt, which is then dried up, and the body are being rubbed with honey and special hot mint. Then being wrapped in a white lining called sacrotos. So whatever a pharaoh has actually passed on, they are being buried along with cats, with their riches, with their servants hoping this will help them or this are things they will be needing in their afterlife. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Kindly like, subscribe and turn on your notification button to get more updates on this YouTube channel.